Sam and Christina, here we are again, 24 hours later, just across from the ridge that we were earlier yesterday. That is, can I can't believe just how much devastation we saw today. People fleeing from their homes with their livestock, their family, their packed vehicles. Everywhere we went was practically a ghost town. Here's the ridge that we were looking at just 24 hours ago, still burning as crews worked to knock this fire out. Smoking hillsides. Raging fires and suffocating smoke fill the once picturesque Sonoma Valley. It really started flaring back up today. We could see the flames. Day four of fires that just won't quit. Could happen at any minute, so we're ready to go. While thousands flee, some residents aren't heeding the mandatory evacuation orders in fear they'll lose everything. We got the water hoses everywhere, we wet down the roof. Greg Winter's home in Calistoga has been in the family for generations. It was spared in Sunday's catastrophic storm. There's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears that went into this place, so I'd like to see it saved. Meanwhile, firefighters are fighting the fight for homeowners who left it all behind. 24 7 from all over the region. Among the homes lost, animals killed, the most tragic. Are the lives lost? One of the guys that here, his uncle died. He's, he died up there on a Mountain Home Ranch where the Tubbs fire started and burned through within the first half an hour. Sean Barron sent his family packing, now hoping and praying the end is near. You got to imagine it's got to come to an end, but it just keeps finding new areas to burn. Luckily, that wind that they were expecting all day never really came. However, it is starting to pick up. They're hoping that these cooler temperatures will help them through the night and mostly they can get a handle on what's ahead. And if the winds die down, Jennifer, thanks so much. Live for us tonight in Sonoma County with the latest in the fires burning there.